There are lots of types of Instagram reels you can create to help grow your audience on Instagram. And that doesn't have to include videos of you. It doesn't have to include videos of your face. And it also doesn't even have to include videos. You can create Instagram reels using still photos. And that's what I want to share with you today, how to create Instagram reels using only photos. So let's go. Hi, my name is Kayla and I help content creators create better content for better results. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get my latest uploads every week. All right. So when you're starting out with creating a photo only Instagram real, you probably want to go ahead and download some photos. So you can do that by coming over to ivorymix.com and going to the content shop and clicking on photos. This is going to provide you with a ton of photos to choose from in many different niches. You can actually sort by niche. There's all kinds of different niches. So if you're in the health and wellness industry, you can click on health and wellness and discover a series of of stock photos, actually thousands of stock photos. And if you're interested in getting some free, you can get up to 500 free by clicking the join free. So that's one way to get nice photos to use for your Instagram reel. Now, of course, you'll come over to Canva and go to create design and you're going to type in mobile video. This is going to give you a mobile size nine by 16 video template to start with for your Instagram reel. Now, the thing with Instagram reels is they tend to perform really well at anywhere between seven seconds and 15 seconds. So that's what I'm going to do for this Instagram reel is no longer than 15 seconds, but I need to know the pace of my music. So if this is a 15 second song and it's relatively middle of the road paced, then I probably should have anywhere from, you know, 15 to seven photos. So seven photos to 15 photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add seven little canvases. Now you can make this longer or shorter, but giving yourself seven canvases and making all of them seven seconds or one second long is a great place to start. So I've added seven canvases. I'm going to exit out of that and I'm actually going to highlight all of them. So what I did was I clicked on the last one and I held down the shift key on my keyboard and I clicked the first one to select all of them. And I'm gonna come up here to the timing and I'm gonna change them all to be one second long. Now I could change them to one and a half seconds long to make this a 10 second, 10 and a half second video. So that could be good. And if you want to make any of these shorter, or longer, you can just come down to the individual one and actually make it longer or shorter. I recommend making all of them pretty short, anywhere from one second to three seconds. So you shouldn't have any of these images be any longer than three seconds. That's gonna help keep the attention of your viewer. So let's say you want to create an Instagram reel um, that teaches someone how to train their dog. Well, if you're going to be teaching a step-by-step -step process, it's an, important to understand the structure of an Instagram reel that teaches something. So if I'm looking at all seven canvases, I know that the end photo or the last two photos are going to be a call to action. I also know the first one or two photos is going to be the hook or the headline, the thing that's going to capture their attention. So I'm going to go ahead and label these headline and I'm going to in include the headline on the first two photos. And then I'm going to include the call to action on the last two photos. And then the middle three are going to be, you know, maybe step one, step two, and step three. All right. Now, now I have 
them labeled. I know what I'm creating is a tutorial of how to train your dog. And now I have photos that I've grabbed from ivorymix.com with a puppy and its puppy owner. And I'm ready to start moving these images to my canvases. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the first one. And then on the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and add this photo, which I love, it's cute, and go ahead and fill in the rest. All right, so here you can see that I've added the images to each of these slides. And if I just hit the play button, you can see that every one and a half seconds, the images change. And with the right song at the right beat, this is gonna work really well. And so it, if you are not sure what kind of music to use with your Instagram reel, try a few different types before you settle on one. It usually helps to go ahead and create the video first and then choose the song to go with the video. That way you can feel it out and decide what type of music really feels appropriate to your Instagram reel. Now you're gonna choose that music on Instagram, not here in Canva. It's best to use whatever music or sound is available to you on Instagram. That way you're using the native sounds on Instagram. All right, so if we remember, the first two slides are the headline. And so you can just add in some simple text. So I'm just gonna add in, this is how you train your dog in three steps and you know this is probably a little too big so i'm gonna make this text a little bit smaller and i think that we need to add a background to this so i'm going to go to effects and we go to background and i'm going to change it to white and that's perfect and so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to go to the next slide and i'm going to paste it right here and so it's on both slides now and i'm going to preview how that looks this is how you train your dog in three steps now i'm ready to add in the next part which is step one step two and step three so if i go to step one let me paste in that text again so i can use the same fonts and size and i'm going to click step one and i'm going to add in some text so I put in step one, be patient. I'm not a dog trainer, I'm just using this as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these by clicking copy and come over to the next one and paste here and choose step two. And it, I don't know what step two would be for dog training. Maybe it'll be, you know, use a leash. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead to the third and we'll put in step three, you know, and love your puppy. So we've got now the headline and it alternates through photos. Then step one, step two, step three, different photos, and now we're ready for the call to action on the last two photos. So we'll go to the second to last photo and we'll paste that text and we'll eliminate this. And what we'll say is follow for more puppy tips. And we'll go ahead and copy that over to this last slide. Oh, that's not working. Try that one more time. Copy. Paste. There we go. Follow for more puppy tips. Okay, and so I happen to know that over on the right hand side is where people can click to follow or leave comments. So if you really wanted to, you can add a little arrow, go to elements and type in arrow and sort by animated. And you can use an animated sticker of sorts and point towards that area on Instagram where they have the comment and follow and share. 
and you can copy that sticker over to this page and it doesn't show up because it's black so maybe we want to use a different color or maybe you don't want to use an arrow at all that's completely optional to you so there's lots of ways to animate this but we're using the photos as still photos and just making the clips really short at one and a half seconds so you don't really have to animate anything else you don't need to animate the text you don't need to do anything else to this because if you like clicked on the photo and clicked on animate and you know made the photo go to photo movement and made it a you know a rise photo it'd be a little more distracting let me show you what that looks like so just the simple fact that it moves quickly is usually all that you need simplicity is your friend here so you can see maybe animating one of the slides and making that photo slide up or photo rise does add a little bit of visual interest but i definitely wouldn't do that on all of them so now that your your photo only reel is ready you can go ahead and click on share download and download that as an mp4 now you post your Instagram reel using the Instagram app on your phone. So you probably won't want to download this video while you're on the desktop. You'll probably want to go ahead and download the Canva app. All you have to do is go to the App Store, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, and you can download the Canva app and the design that you created on your Instagram for your Instagram reel is going to be there on your app once you log in and so make sure to get that app and you'll be able to download your Instagram reel from Canva right there on your phone and when you're ready to post it onto Instagram you can post it right there on your phone so for instance here I am on the Canva app I can click here and I can click download mp4 make sure all the pages are selected and download that as an mp4 once that is downloaded you will go to instagram and click on create a reel once you're in the reel editor you will click here down below on the gallery and you will add the video from your gallery now I've added the video that I downloaded from Canva and I'm gonna click add. And once it's in there, you're able to go ahead and click on the music tab and search through any music you might want to use. Once you've added the music, you can go ahead and click next and you're able to write your caption and select the cover. You can select the cover from any of your images and any of the elements on your video and add your caption and you can either save as a draft or go ahead and publish right then and there. I'm going to go ahead and save as a draft. To make this easier, I've gone ahead and made a set of four essential Reel and TikTok templates for Canva. You can get them either for $20 right on the iRemix website, and I've linked to that below, or you can get this free with your memberships. So just come to iRemix.com, go to the membership tab, and join as a member, and you'll get this set of uh, Instagram Reel and TikTok essential templates completely free as a member. Now that you've learned everything you can in this video, you're ready to move on to the next step. So I've put together this free resource for you to help you with that and you can grab it right below this video.